So this is the Katara, the first 100% digital guitar. All right, um, this is just the prototype for the show. This is basically the guitar reimagined or reinvented kind of thing. It's gonna start with a simple synth sound. We're gonna play in string mode, which is obviously called string mode because you'll see like the six strings of a normal guitar. And that looks like this. First, I'll go into my presets and pick one. By touching the four corners of the string, we get our presets. That looks like this. You can scroll up and down, grab one, load it in, and then it comes up. So, this would be, be blue string mode. You'll see how it just acts kind of like a normal guitar does, but with a synth sound right now. If you wanted guitar sounds, you could program in any, you know, download in or, or run to a MIDI external or USB and have or save it inside. You'd have a lot of different just normal guitar sounds. We just wanted to kind of show off the synth side of it right now, and that sounds like this. Whatever chord I'm playing or note I'm playing on the neck, that would correspond to the original chord. Like this would be a basic D chord. Okay. You can also have each string tuned any way you want. You can tune an open, uh, you know, an E7 or an open G or anything like that. But as for this, we're just gonna do standard, uh, you know, E tuning. There's zero latency, so anything I play, it picks up. So I'll just pick through a couple chords, and it sounds like this. The screen will be able to elongate the, the strings themselves. So you can have more spaced out or closer together, and each one will control something else. It's a five-touch screen, so you'll actually be able to do five things simultaneous. Um, how will it be adopted into live performances? Very easily. Um, I'm a professional guitar player. Um, I played for Eminem, Avril Lavigne, lots of different people, um, and I was kind of wondering how that was going to be adapted into a live performance situation. Except just as we're playing it here. Imagine if there was drums behind, or bass behind, or other things going on. That's where this is going to kind of go in and out, and that's going to be like, people are going to hear it and be like, whoa, how in the world did he do that, okay? Because you're actually, you know, modulating things just while you're playing. So, it will be incredible for live performance, as well for studio. Um, I do a lot of stuff for film and TV, and just doing simple soundscapes, which were really hard before, you'd have to have multiple keyboards, you'd have to have, you know, synth mods, all that kind of stuff. It's so easy on here. I'll just do, let's say we're going to do like an atmospheric soundtrack type stuff, I'll pick a sound and see what we do. Go into our presets. Load one up. Okay, so we'll just play some chords. We'll take like a regular A minor chord. Now normally that would sound like this on a normal, like say, keyboard or synth. Okay. So this would be just your normal pushing the keys. Okay. Okay. So now we're taking this. Watch how we start manipulating it. I'm actually using four different algorithms at once. All being controlled by the right hand. Now normally, just to do something like that, you would have had to add multiple keyboards, be able to bend it, and have synth modules. All these things will be built right inside. Okay, next question. Right, how long will it take before I think these will be in every studio across the country? Not long. Not long. Um, I think the only problem that we're concerned with right now is how the heck we're going to fill all the orders. Uh, but I think that uh, we're going to be able to be up to the task. It's going to be pretty incredible. I think once you see, this is the prototype, and like I said, we, we, we got these the day before the show, so I basically learned it yesterday, kind of. Um, and you can see kind of how, just with this basicness, how where you can go with it. Really, the, 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 the landscape is your mind, wherever you want to take it. Whatever sounds you want to do is completely programmable by you. You'll be able to go in and take every sound and change it however you want. And you can actually have multiple sounds just on one screen. So I'll, I'll bring up another patch, I'll show you that. So here's the strings, right? That's the sound. But watch if I just move over one inch. Completely different sound. I love this one just because it sounds so darn wacky. Everyone's like, imagine if you're in the middle of a song, right, and all of a sudden you start going. You're going to be like, what in the world? How's he doing that stuff, right? It's pretty insane. Left-handed version, very good. Uh, Michael, you want to handle that one? Just turn it over. <laughs> there you go. You'll actually be able to turn it over, and then the strings and everything will be will, will move and do the same thing.